What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And today we'll be all about showing you low-carb meals, relatively low-carb meals, and how to make them delicious on your low-carb days if you're doing carb cycling like me. Now I'm in contest prep, yet I'm able to make delicious meals on these days, so let's get started. Alright guys, so what do you do in a very low carb day to still survive and have delicious meals? Well, you work with vegetables like this. Let me show you how I make a meal that is very delicious but very low carb at the same time. So what I have here actually is broccoli rice. This is 400 grams of broccoli rice. We look at the back and we look at the carbs. Let's see if it's going to focus. And it has 0.8 carbs per 100 grams. So putting this in there, it gives you about 3 grams of carbs. And this is broccoli rice, so if you cook it slowly, I mean shortly, it'll keep its structure, its vitamins, and you will actually enjoy it as you would rice. I love vegetables, I love broccoli, but if you don't, you always have the opportunity to make it even more delicious by browning up vegetables like this giving it sweetness with the bell pepper and the onion and of course adding some salt adding some pepper and if you want adding some garlic or garlic powder and right here I actually prepared some salmon before I bought this pre-packaged raw of course and baked it in the oven to perfection wild salmon the macros are very good, a lot of protein. This are these are herbs on the bottom. Uh, I mean, on the top, it doesn't add. You know, perhaps it adds two grams of carbs per hundred grams, and that's it. The rest is the same. The fat content is low, so you can actually add some oil to this, some coconut oil or even some almonds if you want. But this changes the taste so much that it is worth those extra two grams of carbs. And it's a low day. And if you don't add rice throughout the day, it doesn't matter anyway. So let's put this in a pan that we warm up so it's actually nice and crispy. So what I did is I removed about 230 grams from this right here. It equates to about 250 grams of this raw wild salmon, giving me about 50 grams of protein in this pan right here and I'm making it a little bit crispy on the underside because the skin is still on there making this very delicious and right here I added all the broccoli rice which makes this quite a big meal as you can see but this individual rice I mean broccoli rice grains are still crispy enough and won't be soggy if you don't put it in the pan for too long which makes this I'm an amazing meal, an amazing meal, and I'm going to add the almonds, about 15 grams, at the very end to keep them crispy as well. Alright, so right here I have the almonds, let's put this on zero, and let's actually grab 15 grams out of here, and put this right in there to make it just a little bit more delicious and healthy at the same time. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Mixing this up, adding this beautiful salmon, and we've got a complete meal with low carbs, medium fats, and healthy proteins. And that is what it's all about. And of course, it will be delicious. Yes. Look at this, guys. Doesn't this look good or what? I love this. Low carb meal on my lowest carb day. I can only have 200 grams of carbs, I already worked out, I already had my pre and post workout meal which contains the most carbs, but the meals throughout today need to contain low carbs like this, but can still be very healthy. As you can see, this is a little crispy, this is also not soggy, the vegetables like the onions and the bell pepper add flavor, and you add salt to taste as well, and you've got a little crunch from the almonds. Perfection. Let's enjoy it. Alright guys, I'm in the kitchen preparing my second meal of the day. Today is a low day of only 200 grams of carbs. My high day is 450 grams of carbs and my medium day 300. So I have one high day, 
one medium and two low days in a row. So because the low days are the most frequent, what do I want to do? I'm going to make the low days delicious and on, I want to make them, you know, something to look forward to, not something to dread. And if you're creative enough, if you like to cook, if you like vegetables, this is certainly possible. So let me show you what I'm doing for my second meal of the day. So what I have on the stove right now is some broccoli rice, 200 grams. What is broccoli rice? It's basically shredded fresh broccoli that is still nice and crispy. And I actually am cooking away regular broccoli right here, adding a little bit of soy sauce, just a little bit for a little bit of taste. And then the phone memory died, so I had to record this another way. But what we have here is the broccoli rice mixed with basmati rice, 100 grams cooked, which gives it a different flavor. Then we've got 300 grams of codfish and 50 grams of sauerkraut on the plate, which makes this overall a delicious meal, of course, adding the turmeric and salt to taste. Alrighty, I am back upstairs now with the meal, which is looking absolutely delicious. It has under 30 grams of carbs, only 29, 15 grams of fat, and 65 grams of protein, which is perfect on a low carb day, because my protein goes up a little bit, but the carbs go down, balancing out the muscle sparing effects. So let's take a look at the final look. Here we go. We actually turned this broccoli rice into regular rice by just mixing in 90 grams of cooked rice and it will taste amazing. The volume is bumped up. You've got 300 grams of codfish right here, individualized into 100 gram fillets. You've got actual broccoli for a little bit of crunch, not cooked too much. And some, you know, some zing using sauerkraut, very good for digestion, for the protein, and all the vegetables, of course. And it simply tastes amazing in combination with this. And added some spices, a little bit of salt, some turmeric, some garlic powder, some onion powder. So let's enjoy this. Alrighty, I am ready to eat my third meal of the day, and it's basically the same as the second one. Except I forgot to mention that I also added 50 grams of avocado for the healthy fats, because... Basically, there's no fat, not from the broccoli, not from the rice, not from the fish, but the re is from the avocado. I always like adding healthy fats, blunting the insulin response, a blood sugar spike. Even though there's low carbohydrates, it's still very healthy for you. So let me show you what it looks like. Look at this beautiful meal. Again, we've got the codfish. We have got the sauerkraut, and instead of the broccoli... Um, the only change I made is really add Brussels sprouts. So instead of 100 grams of broccoli, I added 100 grams of Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to enjoy this meal. I didn't add turmeric, but I added some other spices, you know, to just spice it up. Usually use spice mixes that have no added salt. And then I add salt at the end to taste, basically. So I'm going to enjoy this for sure. And after this, work my shoulders. Alrighty guys, the last meal of the day, quite a lot of protein here, as you can see, two different fishes and some vegetables were low carb as I said, so basically no carbs in this meal, but this is 250 grams of Nordic salmon with the skin still on, which on which I bake it, and this is a marinated pangaceous fish of about 200 grams, only added some herbs and some lemon, Nothing really that much in terms of calories, only four, five grams of fat in total here. And right here we've got 300 grams of asparagus, some sauerkraut, and this is the plate that I used before, so as you can see there's still some remnants. But hey, that adds a little flavor and less to go in the dishwasher. And right here I've got my overnight oats going into my refrigerator upstairs. And tomorrow you will actually see what this looks like, because at tomorrow I have another low day. So I added a lot of zucchini to this one, and I'm going to enjoy that one tomorrow for sure, right after cardio. Anyway, let's put this meal together. Alright, so this is what the final creation looks like. 250 grams of grilled salmon basically on the pan. We've got baked salmon. We've got 200 grams of pangaceous, 350 grams of asparagus and some sauerkraut 
and I'm going to enjoy this meal a lot because I love vegetables. I love the fish like this, marinated a little bit, adding in a little bit of salt and some garlic and onion spices. So this will be a treat for sure. Lots of protein, lots of fat for the night digestion of all the proteins for me to use it during the sleep. Anyway, time to enjoy. Alrighty guys, it's yet another low carb day, just another day and I wanted to show you the morning meal, the overnight oats and what I do to bump up the volume and lower the overall carbs in comparison to the volume. So let's see what it looks like. Kaboom, we've got a full bowl of oatmeal as you can see. It's very heavy and at the top I added some raspberries and blueberries. And at the bottom is basically the oatmeal with zucchini and some whey protein. Let me actually show you the actual whey that I use in here. So this is the whey of my own brand, Super Protein Complex. It has six different proteins in there as well as an enzyme complex to digest it. Vanilla flavor, but because of the six different proteins, that means there's also casein in there, making this nice and thick when you add this protein. So basically this is a very voluminous meal with lots of volume, but little carbohydrates, added some fats with the almonds, the um, zucchini as an oatmeal hack to add the volume without really adding any calories, added almond milk, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Just a very wholesome, delicious, healthy meal that gets you through the low days. All right, guys, that was the video of today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. Now, if you're interested in having meals like that in your diet, but find it difficult to do so yourself, to calculate your macronutrients, your calories, I do make personalized nutrition plans, also personalized workout plans, in which these meals are a part of your plan, calculated with the correct nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients that you need and next to that i also do coaching since recent since now i have the experience and time to coach people adequately and i don't only make plans during the coaching but i also check your progress help you out with any questions and our concerns and will make sure that you will make the progress as effective and efficient as possible by constantly changing up your plan so if you find it difficult to get in shape to build muscle or simply to maintain your physique and slowly lean out or even work your way to a show i can do it all if we work together i have also been working with a lot of awesome people you know already have been working with a lot of awesome people with the coaching services and it's just amazing to see the reactions the responses and the progress they make so if you're interested send me an email dm me on instagram or any way that you like and we can talk about the details anyway guys don't forget to stay golden.